Today, you're going to see five sliders that you can instantly use yourself and improve the look of your photos with. Welcome to the video, it's Ben here from Ben's Guide. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the perks of using these five sliders inside Luminar Neo when editing your photos. The benefits to you today are going to be that you need no experience at all. In this tutorial, you can start getting value from using these sliders instantly. Also, you can stack these sliders together to increase the photo editing potential when editing your photos. So it's kind of a win-win. Anyway, let's jump right in and get hands on with these sliders. So the first slider we're going to take a look at is with this image right down here. And this slider is the enhanced slider. The enhanced slider can usually be found in the essentials, but it's now currently in my favorites right here. I'm going to click this open and show you how easy it is to use. First off though, look at the image on the left hand side. I visited a castle local to myself within about an hour's drive with my family and took this photo. Now this photo, it's all right. The conditions aren't great. But I'm looking for a slider to kind of transform the look of this image without making lots of different changes. And the enhanced slider is perfect for the job. So when I push up the enhanced slider, take a look at the changes that are made. Now we've gone about three quarters up into the slider. And if you have struggled to see any difference, take a look at the before. This is the before and this is the after. What I love about this slider is the fact that you can make about four or five different changes to your image with one slider. So we've changed the vibrancy, the contrast, the detail, and we've even brought back detail in the sky as well. Talking about the sky, you've also got sky enhancer, which we can push right up and then we can bring back even more detail if we've lost some in our sky. This is a great slider to start with. If you're a beginner, there is no better place to start with than the enhance slider. You can push this up, make quick changes to your images, and then you can go on your way learning the software and take your time with it. This is usually the slider which I start with, and that's why it's made number one in this list. The next slider on the list is one of my favorites, and this is the glow slider. Why do I like it so much? Well, it's because it works on so many different genres and so many different kinds of photos. And that can be really useful if you're that kind of photographer that likes a bit of everything. But it particularly works well on photography of people, portraits, baby photos. And here is such an example. So I've opened up the glow slider and now I'm going to push up the amount and watch what happens to the photo. You can see it's adding that beautiful dreamy look to the photo and it just makes this photo so much more desirable. Now you have four different effects within this slider. You can go into soft focus, which we've just used. You can go into glow. This is a little bit more subtle. So by adding the glow slider, you can push this up and you can see it just adds a bit more of a subtle effect if that's what you're looking for. Now, if we go down to the other options, you've got Autumn Effect. This is quite a full-on effect in my opinion. It's not one that I use that much, but this seems to affect the highlights and the glow area more in that section of your images and luminosity. So I don't tend to use it too much, but it's there if you want to have control over that. Finally, you've got Autumn Effect Soft. Now I do use this one more, I prefer it to Auton effect and it's very similar to the original soft focus effect. So you can also apply this as well. You also have advanced settings and we're gonna take a look at those in a minute. But first, let's grab another image to actually edit. So you can see that you can use this for different kinds of photography. So I'm gonna jump into the glow slider. I'm gonna add the soft focus effect look how look how much more cute that little kitten looks in the window now you can actually like i said use advanced settings you can change things like softness where you can make it softer and make more of a dreamy look or you can bring it down and take away that softness to make it look a little bit sharper you can change the brightness making it brighter or darker and of course you've got contrast so you can separate the light and the dark more in the image Finally, the last slider in this is warmth. So you can add a bit of warmth to it 
or you can dial it back to make it a little bit cooler. This is a brilliant slider, one that I advise you to get to grips with straight away. There's no learning curve. You can get into this, start using it, and make some really awesome changes to your images. Now, when I'm doing photography of buildings, especially things like castles, where there's a lot of detail in the image, there is one slider which I highly recommend, and it's particularly good for this style of photography, and that is the dramatic slider. So you can find that in the creative tab right here. And if I click on the dramatic slider and push up the amount, look how you can increase the detail in the image here. And it's just particularly affecting this area right here. If we have a look at the before, you can see that the detail is very minimal. And just by using this slider a little bit, we really push in that detail and add that into the image. So I love this slider for adding detail into architecture, but you can also use it for different styles of photography as well. Now you've got the local contrast, which actually affects how much detail is applied to the contrast or the highlights and the shadows in the image. So if I push this up, it's gonna get pretty wacky and it's gonna go full on there, unless you like that look, of course. So I usually leave this around about 50% to 60%, and I find that's a really good sticking point for this slider to be at. Finally, you've got brightness and saturation. So you can make it brighter, so give it a little bit more exposure, which I think this image really needs. And then of course, you can push up the saturation to just give it a little bit of color as well. This is a great slider, and it's one that can really make your images look crisp and really getting your viewers' attention. Now, some people really like using presets when editing their photos. I'm one of those people. I don't use them all the time, but I think certain styles of photography really benefit from certain presets, and they can give you that nice, consistent look through your photos. One of the tools, or sorry, one of the sliders inside Luminar Neo lends itself towards being kind of like a preset. And it's a slide out which I actually find myself going to more and more. So I've put it on today's list. That's the matte slider. Using the matte slider can just give you that extra something in your image. Let's have a look and see what I mean. So if I push this up, you can see that it gives you this really nice faded look to your photos, which looks good when you just push up the slider on its own, but you can make changes so you can increase the fade. So you'll notice if you look at this part of the image here, watch how I'm adding a fade to it. You get that nice faded look and this is really popular in presets. So I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit and then I'm gonna add a little bit more contrast in just to give it a bit more there. Finally, I can add a little bit of extra color and then you've got this really nice finished look to your photo. And this has taught me just a handful of seconds. And I've got this great photo, which I can now just post on something like Instagram or whatever I want to post it on. You do have color toning as well. Now, this is not something I use too much. Or if I do, I use it sparingly. So if I push up the range, this affects the range of the color. So if we push it up there, it's in the kind of redder, more orange tones. And if we bring it down, it's in the cooler tones. And then you can use your U to actually affect the U or the color in the image. Like I said, it's not one that I use that much and I don't think it really benefits this too, too much either. So I kind of leave that alone, but you can check it out if you want to. Now, just before I go into the last edit and I show you number five and how you can stack all these together to get some really awesome results. First off, I want to say that there is a summer sale on Luminar Neo. So if you want to check that out, you can get some crazy discount on this software at the moment. So if you haven't bought it yet, that really might be in your interest to go and check that out. It's in the video description. Check it out there see what you think. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you here at Ben's Guide. There's loads more Luminar videos coming soon and the kind of things, hopefully, that you'll enjoy watching. This is the final edit, like I said. So let's show you how to stack these effects together to get a great finished look. And also our reveal number five, the slider at the end. So first off, let's start with the enhanced slider. That was number one. So we click on that, we're gonna push it up. This is gonna increase the contrast, the vibrancy, and some of the detail and the sharpness. So let's push it up to about there, and that looks really nice. Then let's go into our second effect, 
which was the glow tool. Now, if I come down here, this is something you can use towards the start or towards the end, or you don't even have to add it in if you don't want to. For this image, I just want a little bit of a glow, nothing too much, because I want to make it quite dramatic with the architecture here. So I've just added a little bit of a glow into the image. Then I'm going to go into my dramatic slider. We really want to bring out the detail in this architecture so that it stands out. So opening that up, I'm going to push up the amount and then I'm going to make that stand out. Now, if I wanted to do this really neatly and perfectly, I would be using masking. If you have not checked out my video on masking, this is a step-by-step -step guide showing you this whole tool. You've got to do that hit the subscribe button and then go over to the channel and you will be able to check out my guide to masking. It will also show at the end of the video if you're interested in that, but it will give you a complete walk through the process. So I'm pushing up the dramatic slider. I'm making this more dramatic here and it's really looking good. I'm going to go into the matte section now. I'm going to add a little bit of this kind of preset effect, let's say, and push this up. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of a fade as well. And you can really start seeing this image transform now. This is it originally flat, doesn't really have much to it. And then after about 30 or 40 seconds of editing, I've got this really good image, which I could finish here and then I could be happy with. I'm going to add a little bit more contrast into the image from this as well as the fade and a little bit more vividness as well. Finally, let's reveal number five. This is one of my all time favorite sliders and this is atmosphere. Watch what happens now when I add some fog in to the image. I push up the amount slider and then we're going to add in some fog and then we're going to create depth. Now what depth does is it brings it throughout the whole image, giving you that kind of 3D look to the fog and look at that. We've now got this beautiful castle image, which within about a minute or so, We've just used five quick sliders and completely transformed this image so that actually it's ready to go on a website, on your social media, or just show off to your friends. And that is it. Guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this video today and you're going to find this valuable now when you're photo editing inside Luminar Neo. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these kind of videos. And if you haven't yet, check out that link with the summer sale for Luminar Neo in the video description. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.